Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek. Subscribe, like, share. It's always appreciated. It's springtime and we want to make our yards a little bit smarter, not just our houses, right? So we're going to look at the Orbit Beehive Smart Faucet today. This is not HomeKit compatible yet, but according to Orbit at CES 2018, it will be soon. And there is hope for this one. This is one of those ones I have faith in. It works for the with the Amazon Madam A ecosystem today. So if you're in there, you can use this right now. This is a Bluetooth 4.0, and it requires the hub if you want to do some more interesting things like connect it to um, Amazon's Madam A. It is two AA batteries, waterproof. It's a standard faucet size, and it has EPA water sense approval if that's important to you. The hub, which is a little device you see on the right here, is just a Bluetooth to wireless conversion. It's 2.4 gigahertz, and it's a maximum of 64 units. Let's go take a look at the unboxing. So the box here is a little bit more dull than some of the flashy boxes that we've seen for some of the other accessories, um, HomeKit based accessories. And I'm actually okay with that because this is gonna be going outside. It's more of a home and garden accessory. So it's a little more rugged. Um, you can see here we've got app control, manual watering. We can do smart watering, scheduled watering. It's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, because of course this is the one with the hub in it. And overall, it's um, it's pretty cool. It will also let you conserve water, so it stops you from watering the lawn, which we I think we've all done. You know, we've had that incident where you turn the water on and you end up going to bed by accident. This will automatically shut things off. It will also let you do things like schedule your watering at say two o'clock in the morning when the sun is down, and you can get quite a few hours for the water to get into the earth, which for me, that's pretty cool, right? Um, saving a little bit of water, helping the environment is always a good thing. So let's get this thing open. And as we get into the box here, there's a bunch of papers, what we would expect, instructions, everything else. And we get the unit itself here, which is actually pretty heavy. Um, so we've got the unit itself and we've got the little hub adapter, which is pretty cool. This is makes me happy and hopeful for HomeKit. As you can see, there was the HomeKit code right on the adapter. So they have prepared in advance for this thing to be HomeKit compatible. And it is right there for us to see. So I have faith that this will be here and that CES uh, 2018 promises made by Orbit will be happening this summer. So um, we're going to look for that. Again, really easy, nice steps. Unbox it, put the batteries in, connect via Bluetooth. You can see here the device itself is, uh, it's pretty much what you would expect it to be. This is gonna connect to your existing faucet. Your hose will exist, connect to the other end. And that's about it. We're gonna pull this open to get the batteries in. On the other side here, you've got the, the actual Bluetooth um, and Wi-Fi bridge here. And that's just basically going to plug that permanently attached hub into the wall somewhere and we'll be good to go. One thing I did want to point out is this this is sealed pretty tightly, so you're going to be able to grab on the side of this and just pop that up with your thumbs. And you can see there it's got that little rubber around it, so it is indeed waterproof. This is going to live outside. Um, I don't know that I would actually leave it out in the winter, though, so that's one thing that um, you just to be aware of is you probably want to pull it in at the end of fall, uh, depending where in the world you live in. We've got an, a manual on-off here, which we can use to run a set program, so that's kind of cool. You'll be able to hear a little click here once we get it on. And um, now we've got that little light flashing. It will start flashing so that we can get this discovered by the app. So let's go take a look at that. So I've already created my account here. And the first thing it's asking me to do is to allow notifications, which I do. I want to be notified when there's like a rainy day or, or whatever, right? So uh, let's get started. First off, how are you setting up this device? It's a new device. And I am going to choose either the hub or the how the hose faucet. So whether I want to do Wi-Fi or wa I want to do um, the Bluetooth directly, I can kind of do either one. So is my device powered on and ready to go? So we'll check this and make sure that it is. There we go. Success. We found a device. So with this has found the the hub, the bridge device. So this is the bridge going to bridge us between our Bluetooth and our Wi-Fi. So then we just connect the device. It's going to be doing some of the pairing in the background. And now we can set up a device group. So you can add devices like the hose faucet to a device group, and they can talk wireless to other devices in the range. Good. If your devices are not in range, you may need to move the location of your Beehive hub. I understand. OK, I understand. Awesome. So your device needs to connect to your home network. Pick which network the device should join. So I'm going to scroll down to my home Wi-Fi, and then I'm going to have to put in the Wi-Fi password. So I'm just going to blank that out while I, uh, while I put the password in there. So one thing that I don't like about this app is it actually put my username, my um, 
my W uh, pre-shared key, WPA2 pre-shared key in clear text. And that's not ideal, right? So it's going to ask me for my current location. So we can tap on that and that's going to fill that in for us. So when we click on the use location, it's going to actually find that automatically for us, which is always a nice little touch. So now it's going to ask us to give the device a name. Um, so I'm really not sure which one I'm naming yet. So I'll just call this back yard hose, which is what it is. So now I've set up the device group. Um, let's go back and connect to the other device. So I've set up the um, the hub. So now I want to be able to set up the device itself. So I set up the bridge, that, that Wi-Fi setting first. And now we're going to go look at that. We've successfully found the second device. There's the MAC address. This matches my device. There's the device model, which is the smart faucet. And we're going to add that as well. So now it's going to choose the device group. So um, blanked out is the address. So it's going to let allow you to have, you know, maybe you've got multiple houses, you've got a rental property, you've got a, a cabin or a chalet. You're going to you're going to be able to do that and and have multiple devices. So this device needs a location as well. So that little transition you saw there was me skipping over my home address. And now we're going to update the firmware again. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this when I get a new product, get my hands on it, open it out of the box, and bam, I've got new firmware. That's that's one of those like this company is investing in me as a customer. It's investing in my purchase and it's caring about me um, and the future of the device. So again, this is so critically important for me. And with a little bit of video magic, the upgrade is finished. And now we're going to go to the device naming. So we'll just call this backyard hose again. And the initial setup is finished. We can continue now if we want um, and we can do the, the rest of the setup or we can continue later. So as you guys could see, this wasn't actually connected to a faucet yet. So I'm not going to be able to do the full test, but I will get to that later. So we're just going to kind of do a tour of the app. So we've got smart watering or traditional, and the smart watering can actually take into account things like your soil type, um, whether you're, you've got shaded property or lit property, you know, all these kinds of things, which is kind of cool, right? We can actually be a lot smarter, a lot more intelligent about how much water we use, how much water we're going to use to water the lawn, when we water, all those kinds of things. And that's what's great about having a connected device like this is it can actually reach out to the internet and because it knows where it is, it can check the local weather and do things like skip. Maybe there's rain, maybe there's sun, right? So maybe I have to, to because of a heat wave, I have to water more. Maybe because it's raining, I can actually not water that on that scheduled time, which is something you couldn't do with a traditional timer. So pretty cool. So quick Again, doing a little tour around the application, we can go here and start checking out the devices that we have. So again, I've got the um, backyard hose. I can change the name here if I want. And of course I can come and scroll down. I could update the firmware, reset the device connection. So all those things, all that device specific stuff, which is important. So I can also go into my device groups or my programs, right? And my programs just basically allows me to create multiple programs. Maybe I've got um, multiple zones. So a zone is really a, a um, set of sprinklers. Again, the, the Orbit doesn't make just the faucet. They actually have a full range of automated sprinklers. So now I can go and I can actually, actually test this zone and kind of start looking at what's the flow rate of my sprinklers, calibrate that so I can get a lot better intelligence, right? Am I gonna have smart watering on or off? Right, maybe I want to do that. So I'm gonna gonna skip forward past this test. There we are, saved you guys the five minutes. So now let's go look at the smart watering. We'll just click on the smart details and we're gonna be given suddenly um, some more information and some more choices to make around things like our what's our soil, what's the, the grade, what's the level of the soil, our lawn, um, the heat conditions, all those kinds of things, which is kind of fun. Because what it does is it allows us to have um, a much more intelligent use of the water around us, which ultimately is good for our envi environment and also probably good for our lawn to prevent us from overwatering or underwatering. So we have things like we can look at soil type, for instance, we can look at plant type, sprinkler type, the sprinkler shape, sun, sun shade. So what type of um, soil is in zone one? Maybe it's unknown. So down there at the bottom, I've got that question mark. So I can actually go in and get some recommendations from Orbit that helps me understand what my type of lawn that I actually have. Um, plant types, what type of landscaping is in this zone? So there's different kinds of grass. Do you have a, a hardy grass that needs a lot of sun? Or do you have kind of something that will be able to survive in more of a winter country uh, like perhaps I do? 
right? So um, it gives us a lot of different options here. Do we look at things like, you know, cool season turf, warm season turf, annual flowers, trees, all these things have slightly different watering requirements, which Orbit really helps us through. Like that's one, again, something that I really appreciate about these kind of smart devices, where the manufacturers who are the experts in these products, at least in theory, that they're actually giving us recommendations and helping us understand how to do the best um, job that we can. So sprinkler details, I don't know the spray distance right now, so eh, we'll go back to that later. Sunshade, how much sun do I get per day? Is it full sun? Is it partial shade? Is it full shade? Uh, in my backyard where I'm going to be using this, it actually has full sun, so we'll leave that. We've got a slope, so what is the average grade? Again, look at all the details that really go into this, and once that's done, what the application is going to do is take all those factors into account to understand what is the best way um, to be able to really push the water and control the optimum water to keep your your grass nice all right so how long do you want to test this on we can do that if we wanted to um, sprinkler count we've got catch cups which is an interesting thing you're gonna to have to buy these and there's a little video here for the walkthrough I don't have any so I'm just gonna skip over this right now all right but pretty pretty cool pretty thorough to say the least so one of the other things I really wanted to look at is the program slots themselves which is how things are gonna get watered right so we can do um, Obviously, we can name it. We can have the zones that we want to have in here. Weekdays to water. You know, what days of the week do we actually want to water? Do we want to water on even days, on odd days? So again, depending where you live and, and what your watering um, restrictions may be, uh, this allows you to abide by them. It allows you to have a watering budget and allows you to comply with whatever your local legislation may be. And again, this is the really cool part. It'll actually give you that um, in advance, tell you what the the days of the week, what the weather is expected to be like. So we have the weather forecast, which is going to allow the device, the faucet, the hub, the bridge, all that all together to really do its thing and make some really intelligent decisions and kind of take those decisions out of your mind, right? Let the experts handle it for you. We've also got the notifications here. If you forget to do that, you can choose which ones you want. You have freeze warnings, rain delays, all that kind of stuff, which is nice to have as well. So final thoughts on the Orbit Beehive. It, it looks like a really capable device. It looks like it's made by a company who really understands lawn care. And it looks like it's going to be something that is going to help um, take away some of the, the thought and, and just kind of do a set it and forget it for my lawn for the, for the summer, which, you know, that's what I want. I want to be able to enjoy the summer. I don't want to be worried about watering my lawn or shutting it off right? Which is kind of awesome. What do you guys think? Is this a product that you would use in your house? Um, what questions do you have that I haven't covered here? To be honest, I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm still not quite sure how it all works. And I will be totally honest about that. It's going to take some investigation and it's going to take some living with it a bit to be able to really understand how to get those schedules right. So I'm looking forward to spending a little bit of time with that this summer to get my watering needs just taken care of. Likes are always appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to learn how to make your house just a little bit smarter with Apple HomeKit, please check out the details in the link below.